Hey everybody, Norm over here, and I wanted to tell you about something. I'm really pleased to be able to bring this to you. Um, for years I've been talking about Richie Sambora has been recording and writing tunes, and it's been like an unbelievable pace. I mean, he must have a hundred tunes written and recorded, probably good for 10 albums or something. And I kept saying to him, I was over at his house the other day because he signed a guitar that we're going to auction off for the Midnight Mission. And uh, I kept telling Richie, I said, uh, you know, Richie, I've been telling people that you have all these tunes and all that, and they're going to think I'm lying to them. So Richie, as a good buddy, sent me a dozen of the tunes. And he said, yeah, play whatever you want. But I, you know, I want to respect our friendship, and Richie spent a lot of money recording these tunes. So I want to play a couple for you and just, uh, you know, tell you a little bit about these tunes. And, uh, you know, I think they're really good. I think they're very well recorded. Bob Rock and Richie have been producing them together. And they've got Abel Boreal Jr., Paul McCartney's uh, drummer, is playing on them and just killing on it. And uh, in typical fashion, Richie, the uh, choruses and the hooks are really, really strong. Um, there's really great guitar playing, some great singing. And the tunes are really good. And he's just got so many of them. He's just so prolific. He keeps writing. So I just want to bring you, there's one tune called Songs That Wrote My Life. And I'm just going to play you about a minute of it. And then I'm going to play you the second tune we're going to play is called Bag of Nails. And the songs are really cool. I think he's sitting on just some fantastic stuff. I think they're great pop rock tunes. So I hope you enjoy them. First one we're going to bring you is Songs That Wrote My Life. Check it out. <laughs> Brown sugar, American pie To Excuse me When I kiss the sky So now we're going to play you this other tune called Bag of Nails. And I mean, it's just, I think it's really strong, great, you know, funky guitar parts. There's some great horns on there. And uh, Abel Boreal is just killing it. And of course, Bob Rock. And so just check them out. I just want to give you a taste of them because I don't want to give the farm away for Richie. But he's such a cool guy. He just said, Norm, go ahead, go ahead. Because I said, I kind of said, you know, Rich, people are going to think I'm full of it. So. I just wanted you to hear a couple of things that I've heard going over to his house and uh, check it out. This is Bag of Nails. Get out loud, don't turn back, waiting on a black hole heart attack. I'm grabbing my gun, I'm leaving my pride, I'm really gonna miss you while I kiss you goodbye. But if you will, don't have to lie, I'm really gonna miss you while I kiss you goodbye. Shaking my tail till I get out of jail Keep on shaking your bag of nails So I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, those sections of those tunes. I think they're really good. And uh, just to tell you a little bit about my friendship with Richie, um, he's one of my very best friends. And if it wasn't for him, I probably would not have gotten as involved with the Midnight Mission. The first time that I went down there, um, I thought maybe we could put some concerts together, raise some money for the homeless. And the first person I talked to was Richie. And what he said was, sure, I'm in. And I was expecting him to go, you know, I'm really busy. I don't have time. He was just, he's such a great guy. And uh, I had another, he does a lot of things that make a lot of people happy. I have a buddy of mine, Dave Alexander, who's from uh, Maryland. And he's a huge 
Sambora fan. And at his uh, 50th birthday party, they were playing at the Meadowlands in New Jersey, and Dave had gotten tickets, and uh, Richie had flown me and uh, a whole bunch of people up there and his family and friends, and he was having a big, like, three-day birthday event. And uh, so Dave wanted me to introduce him to Richie, and I did. Richie took him backstage. He knew Dave was a guitar freak. He started saying, here, go pick up this guitar. He let him play almost every one of his guitars. Kind of, Dave was just in shock how cool Richie was. And so I always like to say he's a great guy and uh, he's doing some really cool stuff. So check out his new tunes. When they're released, I'm not sure, but this is a cool preview for you guys.